Hey guys, this is Aaron. I want to take a look today at creating a custom style using Style Builder and the Microsoft Surface. So here I have Style Builder software. You notice right now I don't have any styles in here. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to File Generate Template. Now I'm going to choose what stroke I want to use. I found that the 16 and 32 actually end up being a little small to draw strokes. So I'm going to use the last one, 64, 128, 256, 512, and 1024. I'm going to set the stroke width up to 64. And I'm going to save that as a new template. I'm going to save this into my pictures folder. And I'm going to use the default name style template.png and hit save. All right. Now when I go look in Explorer, I see that PNG file. If I double click on that on the Microsoft Surface, it's going to open that up in Photos. One of the things I can do in Photos is click to draw. I'm going to use my marker and our ballpoint pen, I guess, and choose a black color. And I'm just going to draw lines into each of these boxes. So I'm going to use the stylus at this point to draw my lines across in each of those boxes, just from one side to the other. And I'm intentionally doing things like varying the weight so I have some character to those lines. This is the kind of the point of what I'm drawing. So I'm going to work my way through each one. I'm going to stay as close to the center as I can. You see those little dashed lines on either end? That indicates where the middle of this stroke is going to be. I also don't want to go past the end of the box because if I do, I'll get a sharp cutoff on that line when it's applied via Style Builder. So a few more lines. I did notice that these, uh, these longer lines here take a little bit more focus. Got to talk slow while I do these. All right. But it gives you a lot more opportunity to kind of give you some uh, uh, more character to the line. So I can actually have a little blank space in here, that sort of thing. At that point, I've created all of my lines for this template. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. When I save this using Photos, it's actually going to save that file out as a JPEG. This is an issue because Style Builder actually needs a PNG or TIFF file to import. So when I click Load Template, you notice that the JPEG doesn't show up. It's not one of the supported file formats. That's because it does need to maintain the transparency. Everything that's white is considered transparent, so I have to convert it. To do that, I'll right click, and I'm going to tell it to open with Paint rather than Photos. Paint, pretty simple program, but a nice option it has is to go up to File and Save As a PNG. So I'm going to make any changes. I'm just going to save it as the exact same file, which is that style template li. And I can close that. If I come over to File and Load Template Now, I have style template li PNG. So I'm going to go ahead and open it. What that's going to do is import my lines and apply it to the sample SketchUp file. That looks pretty good. I can actually see all my different line sizes here. That looks awesome. But one of the things you're probably going to want to do is see what this looks like applied to a real model. The sample file is good, but I want to see what this looks like on one of my own files. I'm going to go up to File. I'm going to click on Save As and choose Save. I didn't put a name in. I'm going to tell it this is going to be called My Style. And I'm going to Save, and then I'm going to hop right over into SketchUp. In SketchUp, I'm going to open the Style menu, and I'm going to click the little pop-out and click Open Folder. So what I'm going to do now is choose the folder that contains a style and hit Select Folder. It'll then load all styles in. If I click the one I just made, it doesn't look awesome. It's good, but it's not great. It's not exactly what I need. The, the lines are a little too fat, so I'm going to hop back over into Style Builder, and I'm going to resize everything to width of 8. I'm going to use Scaling to resize. And I'm going to go ahead and export that. So I'm going to go File, Save As. I'm going to save it as a different name this time. I'll call it, uh, I don't know, a new style and hit Save. Back over to SketchUp. And again, Flyout menu, Open. And again, choose the folder that the file is in and hit Select Folder. It's going to bring those lines in. Now I can switch between my 8 and my 64 lines. Uh, not bad. Maybe a little bit too fine a lines. They kind of all look the same from here. So maybe I need something in the middle. One more time in the Style Builder. This time I'm going to start by jumping back. I'm going to click Open and open the Thick Line Style. 
and I'm going to scale that down to 32, so half the size. And I'm going to export that as another style. Literally, I'll just call this another style. And back into SketchUp one last time. Again, open, grab the folder that those files are in, hit select folder, and now I can switch from my middle one, that looks a little better, to my heavy line style, to my light line style. And I can keep those same line styles, but have different weights just by clicking between them. So there we go. That is Style Builder on a Microsoft Surface to make a custom line type for SketchUp. Thank you.